All right, so today's course was Whiskey Creek in Idgemsville, Maryland, which is in the corner between I-270 and I-70. It is on State Highway 80, just west of State Highway 75, which is the road that runs down to Little Bennett. So it's about 10 miles, uh, 10 minutes north and a little bit west of Little Bennett. And it's a big, open, sort of, I guess you would call it a open course that has some woods, some trees, you know, between the fairways, and it has some holes where you do have tee shots that are, you know, in lanes, out of trees and stuff like that. It is not, but it's not really a woods course. I would really say it's kind of a course that has trees on it. It's an open sort of prairie course or the word I'm looking for is a uh, um, farm course, like a converted farmland. But it's sitting on top of this rolling land and it has a good fair degree of verticality. It doesn't have many houses on it, but it does have some houses. Uh, certainly um, when, you, when you come into 11, there's a house just up and behind the green to the left. You go to 12, there's a couple of houses back there by the tee box. You hit the tee shot on 12, there's a, there's a house on the right it's OB at the top of the, the hill leading down to the green. And there's a house to the left. If you go way left over those trees, there's a house right there. But that and then the T the for number 13, there's a house left of the, the fairway there. That OB is, and that's all OB around those houses. But really just those three holes. There's some houses you can see from the course, but they're really kind of far away. So not really much of a housing presence. Although no, there's some. There's, you know, dogs. There's some here and there there's some housing distraction but not much i think the course is fairly quiet although i did hear the amtrak train passing by on like the the 15th 16th hole the par three where you make that turn coming back towards the clubhouse there it was a big whistling amtrak train where you hear the, the train going out from frederick to to i guess maryland or wherever it is to baltimore and that was a somewhat of a distraction but it wasn't much of a distraction the biggest distraction i had by far on this course was greenskeeper fouling i did have three holes of obnoxious greenskeeper fouling from one guy who just insisted that he was going to sit there with his running lawnmower and wait for me to play shots and when i wasn't actually playing shots, he was going to run around mowing 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 literally mowing in front of me on the par three or par four on one hole, then he's mowing behind the green on the on the previous hole on the one I was playing a par three, then he's mowing the short rough that leads up to the fairway on the next par four, and it's like, holy Christ, what do I need to do to get rid of this guy? What do I need to do to get past him or away from him? You know. Finally, I go to I guess it's number nine and or number eight, and then he's not there. It's just suddenly quiet. There's no greenskeeper, no mowing. I was like, oh my God. And I mean, the, the course was good before then. You could hear him mowing off in the distance, I guess, as I approached where he was, but it wasn't obnoxious. It was certainly obnoxious when I got to those three holes. And that was a real pain in my ass. It was really a distraction. So certainly some small strike, at least for greenskeeper fouling. Now, I say that this course is a fairly wide course. It's not wide open. There are there are boundaries from the trees and from the waste. The the some of the sand traps have waste right there on the edge of the sand trap, certainly in the middle of the sand trap even on some of them. But at least they were all sand. It was easy to play out of these traps, not a big deal. And there's a mile to break away from the fairway to go into the woods where there's some waste behind the green there's you know a mile break that goes to the woods there's some waste so it wasn't like it was it was impossibly tight but it was tight enough where you have to be careful some of the greens were long front to back and the waste was only 20 yards off to the left you know on the right and some of them were long left to right and the waste was right behind the green or you know off to the left of the green and off to the right of the green and, and, and just behind the green and it, it did make you play decent approach shots you couldn't go out there and hit slop shots to the green you could get away with some some offline you know tee shots because the course was open enough that 
quite often you could find them if you hit to a open area but just as much you have to be careful not to hit into the deep woods the deep waste you know and and that was not so hard on this course but it's certainly a concern but it's not one of those courses where if you miss the fairway and you miss the little bit of rough that there is next to the fairway the ball is gone like say cross creek a lot of holes in cross creek um so it's not like that tight and it, it certainly is a much more uh inviting course to hit long shots on now i i, I will say overall i enjoyed playing the course i've played that course twice the first time i enjoyed i thought it was a good challenge though tiring i did enjoy playing it i wanted to play it again i reviewed my older video and i found my older video was really short and didn't have many shots of the course so i took the opportunity to go out and play it again take some good shots of the course i shot all the holes and and certainly on, on many of the holes i took extra shots so no shortage of views of the course and i think the course is a very good course unfortunately there was some greenskeeper fouling no question it is a little bit more of a challenge than most courses because there is more waste in places where most courses don't have waste such as the sand traps or, or right around the green you don't see a lot of courses that have waste like that certainly not around the sand traps the only courses i've ever seen that really had that was maybe pb die and and um and uh and um beth page black uh it it was not one of those courses that had extremely difficult greens to chip on like pb die where there were a lot of tabletop greens and very steep slope steps uh you know around those greens but it did have some steep slopes around the greens and you did have to be careful to make sure you land on the flat side of the green if you weren't quite sure you're going to make the green it certainly had a, a fair amount of water there is uh water at odd places there's also waste a fair amount of waste around the fairways and greens so it wasn't like you you could just miss fairways and and not have to worry about finding uh finding your ball sometimes you could find it in certain places and sometimes you couldn't so it was a good mixture of that uh it was interesting to hit some recovery shots that i wasn't able to hit on if i had played this you had the same error on another course that ball would be gone and here it was possible to actually play a recovery shot do some scrambling and and recover the hole so I, I i have to give this course a good solid b plus because it is a great layout a good technical talent challenge of a golf course but it still allows you to come out and swing hard and and hit big drives and you still get to hit fairly decently long approach shots the par fives you know 540 550 par fives are not insanely long but they're long enough to be a challenge the par fours you know 400 430 likewise not 450 but still a long enough par four to be a decent challenge if you but if you hit a good drive you usually had like a 150 or something to the green it wasn't like you know a, a four iron or three iron to the green after a good drive like if it was a 450 or a par four so th there's a big difference between having a long hole and a medium long hole it takes those long irons out of your hands if you can get a good drive you can take them out of your hands even from the back tees and i didn't think that this course was that bad from the back tees at all i thought it was very playable from the back tees there were some carries over waste certainly you had some carries some waste to worry about but it wasn't like you it wasn't really it was like it wasn't like it was too much from the back tees i thought it was quite playable from the back tees and i enjoyed the round so i will give this course a solid b plus i will say it is unfortunate that it had some greenskeeper fouling but it really isn't it really wasn't enough to to destroy the round for me today and i can't give the course a really bad grade because it had some greenskeeper fouling the course is just too good it's it's a good round the greens are nicely you know fairly decent condition some of them were aerated so i can't say they're perfect and they were a little bit slow but still overall a good round a solid b plus that's whiskey creek in idjamsville maryland